Annyeong mga chingus! I'm Nicole Andreas from BSA 2A and I am going to tell you one amazing story. Are you familiar with the story of the willow wren and the bear? If not, stay tuned and enjoy! Once in a summer time, the bear and the wolf were walking in the forest, and the bear heard the birds singing so beautifully. Brother wolf, what bird is it that sings so well? That is the king of birds before Rome. We must bow down. But in reality, the bird was the willow wren. Hmm. If that's the case, I should very much like to see his royal palace. Come, take me there. That is not done quite as you seem to think. You must wait until the queen comes. And soon afterwards, the queen arrived with some food in her beak. And the Lord King came too. So they began to feed their young ones. The bear would have liked to go at once. But the wolf held him back by the sleeve and said, You must wait until the Lord and the Lady Queen have gone away again. Therefore, they took stock of the hole where Dinas lay and trotted away. The bear, however, could not rest until he had seen the royal palace. And when a short time had passed, they went to eat again. The king and the queen had just flown out. So he peeped in and saw five or six young ones lying there. Is that the royal palace? It is a rich palace. And you are not king's children. You are disreputable children. When the young ones heard that, they were pridefully angry and screamed, No, that we are not. Our parents are honest people. Bear, you will have to pay for that. The bear and the wolf grew uneasy and turned back and went into their holes. The young willow wrens, however, continued to cry and scream. And when their parents brought food again, they said, We will not so much at touch one place leg. No, not if we were dying of hunger, until you have settled whether we are respectable children or not. The bear has been here and has insulted us. Be easy, he shall be punished. The king wren once flew with the queen to the bear's cave and called in. Old growler, why have you insulted my children? You shall suffer for it. We will punish you by a bloody war. Thus, war was announced to the bear and all four-footed animals were summoned to take part in it. Oxen, asses, cows, deer, and every other animal the earth contained. And the willow wren summoned everything which flew in the air. Not only birds, large and small, but midges and hornets, bees and flies had to come. When the time came for the war to begin, the willow wren sent out spies to discover who was the enemy's commander-in-chief. The nut who was the craftiest, flew into the forest where the enemy was assembled and hid herself beneath a leaf of the tree, where the password was to be announced. There stood the bear and he called the fox before him and said, Fox, you are the most cunning of all animals. You shall be general and lead us. Good. But what signal shall we agree upon? No one knew that so the pack said. I have a fine long bushy tail, which almost looks like a plume of red feathers. When I lift my tail up quite high, all is going well, and you must charge. But if I let it hang down, run away as fast as you can. When the nut had heard that, she flew away again and rebuilt everything with the greatest minutes to the willow wren. When they broke and the battle was to begin, 
All the four booted animals came running up with such a noise that the air trembled. The willow wren also came flying through the air with his army with such a humming and rearing and swarming that everyone was afraid and uneasy. And on both sides, they advanced against each other. But the willow wren sent down the hornet with orders to get beneath the fox's tail and sting it with all his might. When the fox felt the first thing, he started to draw up one leg with the pain, but he bore it and still kept his tail high in the air. At the second sting, he was forced to put it down for a moment. At the third, he could hold out no longer and scream out and put his tail between his legs. When the animals saw that, they thought all was lost and began to fly each into his hole. And the birds had won the battle. Then the king and queen flew home to their children and cried, Children, rejoice! Eat and drink to your heart's content! We have won the battle! But the young wren said, We will not eat yet. The bear must come to the nest and beg for pardon and say that we are honorable children before we do that. Then the willow wren flew to the bird's hole and cried, Growler, you are to come to the nest to my children and beg their pardon. Or else, every rib of your body shall be broken. So the bird crept there in the greatest fear and begged their pardon. <laughs> and now, at last, the young wrens were satisfied and sat down together to eat and drunk, and made merry till quite late into the night. And that's the end of our story. I hope you had some fun and learned something from our story. So, see you on our next story time. Annyeong!